on this episode, correcting a tough month. Hey everybody, this is The Quarter Show, and uh, we're gonna be going over correcting a tough month. Sometimes you, you run into a month where it's a little difficult. We actually recently spoke to some of our clients, and, uh, and I guess Mark was a little, uh, actually not clients, uh, some prospect companies, uh, and I guess they were, they, were, they were saying, oh, you know, March is a little difficult, uh, a little down, everything's like that, a little tight, and you know, these things are gonna happen. We factually started our company, we started Richter, uh, boy, uh, March, March 2008 was when we started. The, the storm, I want to say another word, but the storm started, right? January, uh, the real estate thing hit, the whole market crashed. We started the company bootstrapped, uh, no money, uh, no venture capital, nothing like that. March 2008, it was brutal. Uh, for eight months, uh, went through that whole thing. And, uh, and just the only thing we had to rely on was our sales, our ability to sell and everything like that. We had no, best, no investment of any kind. Um, and, and, and then 2009 went in 2009. It was just unbelievably tight. And the thing is, is that you, you have to understand how to weather a storm and how to push through these uh, a tough month, you know. And, and you know, in that kind of economic environment, all months are tough. And you know, and there's 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 ways to overcome it. There's things that you need to do to really overcome it. And it is under your control if you select the external environment as a factor in any way. If you say, well, you know, it's it's. Um, uh, it's the environment, it's this, it's that. These are things that you cannot control, so you only have the luxury of selecting things that you can absolutely unequivocally control, and then you can only outwork it. Um, and and it can be outworked. It can absolutely be outworked, and, and, and you don't want to deceive yourself to think, oh, geez, you know, things just roller coaster and they go up and down. They don't. Um, our company, we've been up for eight, eight years straight in a row. Um, we've been up for 26 months in a row straight. Um, you know, we don't go down, and and that's a causation of our, of our own. And, and so there's a couple different things on, on 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 what you can do. But you know, one of the things is crushing outflow. You know, when you look at outflow, you look at your outflow activities. Like, are you sending out a? Are your sales team sending out a, a, an email out uh, overall to to the uh, to the prospect list they built up? Do you have a marketing mailing list that you built up, and are you communicating to that list all the time? Are your people on the phone all the time? Are your other people getting behind it? Right, and that particular point I want to bring up because Rob's got a nice little checklist here of different things to mention, and it's really important to keep in mind each one about yeah. what he expects from his team and what you can expect from your team. What he expects from the sales team is there's no assignment of any causation or any any, any decision or anything anywhere but on each individual person. Right, right. And so, so each of these items actually applies individually to every one of your people on your team. Everybody who, who you know is like has their own client base, who's reaching out to their own pipeline, who had who can who can like create their own sales and materials. Right. So it's each individual on your team. It's not just the company as a whole and we're all we're all cause or whatever. It's like you have to demand it of each person under you the whole time. So absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We do have a list here. So uh, <laughs> so anyway, you've got to crush the outflow, whatever that means. In every aspect that you can possibly get it done, which means your people, um, your marketing team, your sales team, we're talking on the phone, written letters if you have to, sending emails. Nine times out of ten, when your month is down, your sales team is down. We're talking about something where they're not working at the level that they should. And when you inspect, they'll say, oh, I'm busy. I'm doing a lot. They're not. They're not doing a lot. I hate to say it. I know I'm probably calling out some people. We're all guilty of it. But now, this is really weird. This is a super important point. This is really weird. And we, we may be able to do a whole show on this particular point. But I've seen it over and over again. And this yeah. seems harsh. They're not. So this person or that person is not working. Yeah. And, and Rob has said it a few times. And when you go and inspect the scene, there's the apparency of work, but it's either not being done intelligently or it's, e it's email instead of phone. I mean, it's very spe specific, important points, but it's, I've never seen it be wrong. So when you go and inspect, when you go and, inspect and, and start to encourage and coach and push and move your people, I am doing X, Y, and Z. The only result of work is products. If there are no products, there is no proper work being done. If, if, if you're not getting a, a, a satisfaction on the other side, you're not getting a final result, 
they're not working. And it seems like they are, and people will be like, oh, you know, I am working and everything's like that. They're not. They're running not. on a treadmill yeah. is not running around, running down a track. Yeah, they're not working at the right orders of magnitude. So maybe on a scale of one to 10, yeah, they're working and there's enough busy work and there's enough apparency of work. But the truth is, it's not at a 10 or 11 or 12 on the scale. They're, they're not hitting the, the call numbers. They're not connecting with people. They're not emailing they're not people. Connecting. They're not doing all the actions that literally are outworking. And you know, the thing is, is that when somebody says, I'm working, well, compared to what? You're, you're, you're working compared to an easier time, an easier month, an easier market. If the month is tough, you know right away you need to step up the estimation of effort involved to go and over, overcome whatever's happening in the, in the environment. So maybe the work that you did three months ago, that effort that you applied is not the same effectiveness or level for the effort that's required in this specific environment in this specific month. And maybe that means that you need to, every action needs to be four times or five times what it normally would. And from a management level, that's super key. Like like it's been mentioned on a previous video that there was a December a few years back that was very challenging for Richter, and from management came a program written that was implemented for every December thereafter, and those are usually our top months from yeah. now on. Yeah. So it's like, it's like it, it, you have this prediction, and it has to be implemented. It has to be created yeah. by management and driven by management. It has to be like, like in, in person. You have to be yeah. there in person and it's to ensure it's executed. And, and, and culturally, it's a team thing, by the way. If, if, yeah. if, if you have a down month, you have a tough month, the whole team, you have to have a cultural, like the whole team has to have this work ethic attitude and every, everybody has to get, get behind the target, not just like management saying, come on, stay on, like we gotta push this thing, but everybody has to adopt it, and all hands on deck, like this is, the, this is the target and goal that we need to do. And you have to have a huge lineup, what we call a lineup, so from a sales standpoint, you know, we take a legal pad. We have like CRM and all that kind of stuff, but but we're we're a little old school this way. <laughs> you know, we, we take a lineup. You know, we write on the that thing called lineup and write on a legal pad, and we, we just like you can you can see it. You know, and it's got to be big. If a month is tough, it's like well, what do you got? You got this dollar figure, this company, this person's name. You know, here's what here's the action I'm gonna do. Boom, 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 and it's, it has all the the list. There might be 50 cycles on there. It's dollar figure, company, person's name, and then an action of what they need to do. And it's all the way down, and everybody's got it, and it's completely jam packed, right? It's a huge big lineup. Yeah, this is not my lineup. This no, is th no. these are these are 10 people I want to close today. This yeah, is my yeah. short lineup. Yeah. I have another uh, two other lineups out there that are like <laughs> huge. Yeah, they're packed, and when you're trying to do a lot, that's that's the level. You can just look at the legal pad and be like, okay, this is big. You know, um, you know, you, you need to have a, a specific marketing battle plan. Like, what are you doing on the marketing actions? Like, are you getting a, a promo email out? Are you running ads? Are you, you know, is your marketing team sending certain specials or doing certain things to sort of drum things up? Like, what is your marketing battle plan? Um, another thing is just, um, like I said, having the whole company wide company team behind it. You need to announce it to your entire team and be like, look, here's what we're hitting up against. Here's what we're dealing with. I need everybody. Here's the target. Here's the goal of where we need to be. And everybody has to get behind it because the thing is, is that months don't correct just from sales or just from one person. They correct as a company. And whenever we've had huge months, whenever we've had huge affluence months and things like that, which, which we do quite frequently, frankly, it's always from production. It's from sales. It's from marketing. It's from operations. It's from finance. It's everybody firing in all cylinders, all working on a collective goal to make it happen. It's not one area like, oh, you know what, sales is gonna handle this, or this is a sales problem, or this is a marketing problem. It's actually everybody's problem, and everybody has to get behind it, and you have to send out a memo to everybody that they need to know transparently, like, here's where we stand, here's what we need to do, everybody on deck, let's go, and let's get this done. In every division, here's your targets per division and what you need to handle, marketing, finance, delivery, production, you know, and the whole area has know. to flow. And another video topic I'm sure Robert will take up right. is if you find areas where there's not flow, you have to correct it. But that's yeah. a whole other topic. Absolutely, and, and you have to be innovative to dig up cycles. You have to be innovative. Like, what, what you know, what are the past invoices or the past, uh, you know, past accounts that have done business with you? Let's go look at that. Who have we not talked to in a long time? You know, let's go talk to them. What about customers, cu customers that are in production? Service them. Check in on them. Whose birthday is it? You know, call them. Say, oh, you know, yeah. check in. Say hello. To find out what they're doing. Send exactly. them cards. Send them a book. You know, send them chocolates. Check in with people. When it gets tight and it's a tough month, a lot of people contract on actions. They contract on finance. They can, oh, we can't spend that now because you know it's tight. Or oh, gee, we need to tighten up on the money and we can't do. We can't send them a, a Starbucks card because it's tight. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Double up on your spending, double up on your marketing actions, double up on every single thing that you're doing, 
and expand on it and lean in. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Lean in on S- it. Save, save your money until it's all spent. You're not gonna contract. You're, not you're gonna, gonna you're starve not, to You're not gonna contract affluence. You're gonna lean into affluence. You're gonna do the aggressive move, yeah. and and you're gonna ride out, ride out of it. You know. Yeah. And, and so you just, gotta, just just recently, I had a, just a quick anecdote. You know, in terms of on the ground and the salesperson and this kind of outflow, what they need to do. I had two deals, both of them very large, that were like the the, the prospect loved it. They were yeah. ready to sign up. It's all good to go. I had I sent over the proposal. I sent it over again. I emailed twice. It was all on the same day. I'd called twice, left two messages. I'd texted. I'd done everything that I possibly could think of to get these things, these both these deals done. They weren't done, and there was no reason for it. So I made a huge series of phone calls to other other people mm-hmm. and other prospects and other clients. Like, hey man, how's it going? You know, I'm just calling for this. You know, like I just wanted to talk to you. And just you have to outflow in every direction possible. And then boom, boom, both right in a row. I was mm-hmm. at lunch, and then they just came in, boom, boom, yeah, right in a row. And I'm like, you have to you have to get the flows going company wide, individually, individually. You have to as well. When you take an action at that level. And you're doing what you should do at that level. By the end of the day, you know it. You, you know it. You know that you did by the end of the day because you're just like, holy cow! You know, you look at the time. It's five, six, seven o'clock, and you're like, wow, that that was intense. You know, yeah. and, and that's 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 what is required when you have a tough month. What you need to do to get out of it. Three things I want to go over. Three things you need to focus on. Number one, hammer sales. Number two, hammer collections. I'm talking about accounts receivable, collections, financing. You need to get that absolutely in and hammer. Make sure there's no stuck flows there. Number three, hammer production and delivery. Make sure your production, service, delivery, whatever you have, whatever your product is, whatever your service is, make sure that is getting out the door. Stuck uh, cycles there. Make sure that this, your, your production team, delivery team, service team, they're getting things out. No, 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 uh, no things that are kind of bogged down in that section. Hammer sales, hammer collections, hammer production, and it's going to come up uh, overall. It's going to it's going to help free up the month uh, and and free up that uh, the sort of stuckness or downness of the month. It can be controlled. You can control it. You can drive your numbers up. And if you do it over and over and over, you build a discipline. You build a culture around it, and you will never see a down month. You will constantly be up. Uh, and culturally, every it's it's actually uh, more exciting. It's more enjoyable. The morale comes up. Um, and, and you know, winning is fun. Winning is fun. People like to win. And, and if you have a great product and you have a great company, you need to do that. You owe it to your clients anyway. You owe it to your product. You need to get it out to the market and um, and do it at scale. You know, do it with a level of intensity. And that's how to overcome a month. You can cause a month to contract, or you can cause a month to expand and be great. And and it's literally under your thumb. It's under your control. And if you're selecting something externally and you're you're, you're making reasons for it, you're making excuses for it. Forget it. Just stop. Just knock it off. It's, it's not that. It's not that. It doesn't and help you in any What way. does it do? You can't do anything about it. You can't control it. So it's very convenient. It's a great excuse that everybody can 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 use. But at the same at the end of the day, you're in the same spot as you were. It's not any better. Uh, it doesn't help. You know. Yeah. So you got you got to lean in and just solve the problem and do and, and do these actions and and uh, and take <laughs> take get get past that inertia and get the momentum going. Hope that helps. Um, make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like what we're uh, talking about. You like the show, different things like that. Go to Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at, at the quarter show. Hashtag the quarter. Um, and, uh, and we appreciate you watching. Okay, we'll have more coming at you soon.